Hey guys, quick back chemistry basics here. Let's talk about RFLP. Restriction fragment length polymorphism is a molecular technique that uses restriction enzymes to identify variations in homologous DNA sequences. Let's understand this technique in detail. The genomic DNA is first isolated and fragmented with a restriction enzyme. The DNA fragments produced by the restriction enzyme are separated by agarose gel electrophoresis. Once separated, the DNA fragments in the gel are denatured using an alkali. The alkali breaks the hydrogen bond between the DNA strands. As a result, the DNA in the gel now becomes single-stranded. These fragments are then transferred to a membrane by applying pressure. The next step is to detect our desired fragment present in the membrane using a probe. The probe is a single-stranded DNA which is labeled with P32. This single-stranded probe is complemented to the DNA fragment which we want to detect on the membrane. Once probe hybridizes to the membrane, an X-ray film is placed on the membrane to detect the probe. Any variations in the length of the gene can be detected by looking at the autoradiogram. Now, the probe is small and it binds small portion of the gene. Let's call this as probe binding sequence. The probe binding sequence is a sequence in the sample DNA which is complementary to the probe. And to keep things simple, we will indicate this in red. Let's say sample A has three restriction sites. Now upon restriction digestion, two fragments will be produced. Out of two, only one has the probe binding sequence. Hence, one band will be observed in the autoradiogram. Now let's suppose sample B has lost a restriction site due to mutation. In this case, only one band will be observed and this band will be very large. And the restriction pattern of sample C will be same as that of sample A. This kind of analysis is widely used in the analysis of alleles, an inheritance pattern of a specific gene. Let's say in one of our sample, the gene is mutated at the site where the restriction enzymes act. In this case, the restriction enzyme will not be able to cleave the gene. As a result, the fragment will be very large. Let's say homozygous dominant allele shows a large band, whereas homozygous recessive allele shows a small band. Now, if the individual is heterozygous, then RFLP pattern will show both the bands. 